Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto market. My name is Connor, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use DeFi on the base network, specifically how to use the Moonwell protocol for lending and borrowing. And I'm making this video because I made a base video two days ago on how to trade coins on base. And I had a lot of questions asking, what are some legitimate DeFi protocols on base that we can use right now? So I wanted to make this video about Moonwell because this is the number one DeFi protocol besides Arrow on base right now for lending and borrowing. I'll show you how to use it in this video and I'll go into the Well token as well. So let's get into it. So the Well token is currently trading for 3.175 cents with a market cap of $54.7 million. And this is the lending and borrowing protocol on the base network. It's one of the top DeFi protocols on base right now. And the token's getting a lot of attention. One bullish narrative going for Moonwell right now is the fact that the founder, the person who made Moonwell, is an ex-Coinbase employee. So there's a lot of speculation that it will get listed on Coinbase in the future. It's all speculation, not financial advice at all. Right now, Moonwell is being traded on a few centralized exchanges like Bing X, Gate.io, KuCoin, and it's also on a few base network decentralized exchanges such as Aerodrome and that Aero token, like I mentioned in the intro to the video, is the other top DeFi protocol on base. But we're focusing on Moonwell in this video. So this is the homepage of Moonwell. It's lending and borrowing made simple, very similar to something like Aave on Ethereum, lending and borrowing. So if you hit launch app in the top right corner, it will take you to the application on the Discover page. And it's very simple what you can do on this platform. You can deposit assets like USDC or Ethereum, and you earn interest from depositing your assets because it will be lent out. And then after you deposit your assets, you can actually borrow against them, all right? So you can lend Ethereum, USDC, other assets, then you can borrow against your assets, take out a loan. I'll show you how to do that in this video using Ethereum. So right here on the main screen, it says Ethereum on the base network, you will get paid out 11.1% APY first applying ETH. So first things first, connect your wallet. Top right corner, it will say connect wallet. I'm using Rabi wallet. This is the same wallet that I made in that last video where I showed you how to bridge Ethereum over from the ETH mainnet to base using the official base bridge. I recommend using the official base bridge because if the base token does have an airdrop, which I think there's a very high probability it will, you're gonna to wanna to be using the official base bridge because that counts as a transaction and it should boost your tokens, uh, your token amount for the airdrop, if it is given, of course, which I think it will be given later on this year. So anyways, connect your wallet, MetaMask or Rabi, and watch this video if you wanna learn how to use the base bridge. This is what it looks like. I'll leave the link to the base bridge in the description of this video down below. But I'll show you how to use it in the last video. Anyways, so after your wallet's connected, we will be supplying ETH to borrow against. All right, you can also use USDC. So let's just click on supply ETH. And as you see, it takes us to the lending tab at the top of the screen as well. All right, markets, lending, borrowing. We'll start with lending. So we wanna select Ethereum on base as our asset and we will be earning 11.1% APY for supplying. I currently have 0.13 ETH in this wallet. Let's put in 0 0.02, that's like $60 of ETH. And we will hit supply and confirm supply. We will sign the transaction in our wallet here, confirm it, and there we go. So as this is going through, let's talk about the fact that we want to enable collateral as well, all right? So over here it says enabled as collateral. I already have it checked off as yes. When you first start off on the Moonwell app, it will say no. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you hit yes, enable as collateral, and you will have to sign a transaction. All right, sign that transaction so that you can actually go ahead and borrow against your Ethereum, very important. So we just supplied 0.13 ETH, or 0.02 ETH for $67 and we will be earning 11.1% APY on this. Now what we want to do is we want to borrow against our Ethereum. So we will head on over here to the borrow tab. And as you can see, and now you want to select the asset you want to borrow against. In this case, it's Ethereum on base. And it says we are able to borrow 0.01 ETH with the amount we have supplied. 
So typically you don't want to borrow the full amount because that would make the loan a very high risk loan and you have the chance of getting liquidated. So if we click 50%, that means we can borrow 0 0.0081 ETH. All right, so we will go ahead and hit borrow here. We are taking out a loan against our asset. Now this is obviously leveraging your assets. You need to know what you're doing. This is not financial advice. I'm simply just showing you how to do it. So if you do want to do it on your own in the future, you know how, all right? This is just an educational information video, not financial advice in any way, shape or form. You have to understand what's going on here, right? You're borrowing against your assets. You're leveraging your assets. Leverage can be dangerous, but it's also an extremely powerful tool to grow your wealth if you understand how to use leverage. There we go, we just borrowed against our Ethereum. So if we take a look at our wallet here and we see the transactions. So we first of all, we supply 0 0.02 ETH two minutes ago and then we just borrowed 0 0.001 ETH from the amount we deposited. So that's it, that's how you use Moonwell Finance. Very neat tool, it's the same thing as Aave, which has been around for years. Now you can also stake the well token on the Moonbeam network and this will allow you to vote on governance proposals. Okay, so that's kind of the point of the Moonwell token, it's a governance token to vote on the future of the Moonwell protocol. But very simple, how to use this platform. You can select any of these markets, right? They have a few options, stable coins or Ethereum, deposit those assets, earn interest on those assets, and then you can borrow against those assets as well. So that's Moonwell in a nutshell, kind of rhymes right there. Let's take a look at the Moonwell price chart because this token's been on a tear recently, breaking out into price discovery, currently at 3.2 cents. Just one month ago, it was traded for 0 0.007 cents. So what's going on right here for this chart? Well, it first went live on exchanges in July of 2022 in the dead of the bear market. This is a new coin, it has not experienced a bull run before. This is a weekly price chart. So for over one year, essentially, it was in a bear market accumulation. Now the base network is getting a lot of attention. People are flocking, bridging over their funds onto the base network to speculate. So Moonwell is starting to see an increase of liquidity and they are starting to obviously have much more volume on their token getting traded. So it just broke out of the bear market accumulation range. Strong breakout here is at that. And really, if we go to the daily time frame over here, this is a strong uptrend. So typically in a strong uptrend, it doesn't slow down until the trend is broken. So what ideally you would see here from Moonwell is a period of consolidation. And we have this trend line. So maybe the price consolidates and it finds its trend line again, somewhere around 2.8 cents. And then it starts to move up higher. If we look at horizontal levels, we do have this gap here okay so maybe you fill this gap and you go down to around 2.6 cents if you're looking for an entry on something like this that's what i would be looking at in terms of how high this can go new coin being speculated on 50 mil market cap right now i wouldn't be surprised to see this thing do around a 10x or so in the course of the bull run i'm not going to buy it myself i'm in other assets but if you're wondering how high i think it can go Right, 500 mil market cap, maybe it can go to a billion as the main lending and borrowing on base. Uh, but regardless, I think there's better assets out there to speculate on. I don't own any of this, this well token, just my thoughts on, on what's going on with this. So it's in price discovery right now. Watch for a pullback to around 2.6 cents. And ideally you would get some kind of retest, right? Because this will roll over at some point when the hype dies down, maybe after the Bitcoin halving in the summer. Ideally, you get a retest of the all-time high breakout at 2.1 cents. That's the optimal level to look for an entry on something like this, 2.1 cents. If you're interested, of course, not financial advice. So this is Moonwell on base. And again, the base network is still very, very early. And if you look at all the other big layer twos for Ethereum, such as Arbitrum, Optimism, Blast is doing an airdrop. You know, all these networks, Sui did an airdrop, Manta did an airdrop. Aptos did an airdrop, StarkNet did an airdrop. All these other layer two networks, they all did an airdrop. They all said as well that they're not gonna do an airdrop until they announce the airdrop. So Base right now is saying they're not gonna do an airdrop. But if I was a betting man, which I am, I'm gonna bet that they are going to say, yes, we are doing an airdrop. We're going to reward the early network participants. 
Okay, so I am prepping for this base airdrop because I think it will be the biggest airdrop in crypto history. This is Coinbase's network, Coinbase's blockchain, competing directly with the Binance exchange and the Binance token. The Binance token's market cap right now is $86 billion, okay? So the base token, as the other largest exchange in the world, should have an equivalent market cap for their network. So I think this is going to be one of the biggest, if not the biggest airdrop in crypto history for the base network token. How do you get the airdrop? Well, you do the things I'm showing you in these videos, right? You bridge to base, you use Uniswap, you use SushiSwap, you use Moonwell, right? You just use the network and you get rewarded. Now, I'm showing you how to do it in this Rabi wallet, but I'm also using a tool called Farmbase Pro. And Farmbase Pro farms this airdrop on autopilot for me. It does all the transactions. I don't do anything. Once you set it up, it's on complete autopilot. I made a full video on how to use Farmbase Pro and set it up for the base airdrop. I'll leave a card to that video right here and the link to it down in the description below. But I just wanna show you how Farmbase works. We'll click on a random wallet. Let's see, this one right here. If I click on it, we can see all the transactions that it has already done. So it's swapped using OX, it's swapped using XY Finance, it, it's used One Inch, it's used Ave, it's minting NFTs on Mint Fund, it's used Odos. This is just one wallet, right? If we go look at a different wallet, let's see this one. So this one's wrapping ETH, it used OX, it used Stargate, it used One Inch. So it's just farming the airdrop using all these various different DeFi protocols automatically. We don't have to do anything. This one used Moonwell, it used Uniswap, it used Balancer, right? So it's just doing all the transactions for me. I'll get the airdrop, if they do an airdrop, of course, which I just said why I think they will, right? So I'm gonna get an airdrop for so many wallets. This is going to be huge, right? This is such an, a no-brainer play to make more money in this bull run with the base token airdrop. And also with this, with these wallets, I can also farm Solana airdrops, as well as the scroll and linear airdrops, right? So if I show you on scroll, right, we got all these wallets running on scroll right now as well, all doing various different things, right? So I'll show you how to set this up in this video. Farmbase Pro, use my link in the description down below to get started. That is an affiliate link, so I appreciate your support. But this is a no brainer, farming the base airdrop. You can use free wallets, and on the free wallets, they'll, they'll just take 25% of the tokens you get airdrop, you keep 75%, right? So it's basically no cost for you and you can scale your operation. You can do 20 wallets, you can do 50 wallets. And this is much more than you would ever be able to do manually. This is a professional airdrop farming operation here and this is how you make a ton of money through airdrops in this crypto bull run. So check out Farmbase Pro using the link down in the description below and also my full tutorial video. So in this video, we went over the Moonwell Finance Protocol on Base, which is a lending and borrowing protocol. I showed you how to lend and then borrow against your assets. And then we also took a look at the Well token. I gave my speculation and my analysis on it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you let me know by smashing the like button down below. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, go ahead right now and smash the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. Also, check out Farmbase Pro. It's an absolute no-brainer and you're definitely going to regret if you don't get started on it because it will scale your airdrop farming operation to another level and makes things effortlessly easy because it's on autopilot. So check it out. Appreciate all of your support. My name is Connor from Crypto Empire. I'll see you in the next video.